This video has been classified by the ABC as PG. Hey there. These are great times if you're an Australian and you want to get angry. Back in the day, if something upset you, you might go and have a whinge about it down the pub. And if you're really pissed, a letter to the editor was about as serious as you could get. But now you can just skip all that and go straight to instant nationwide outrage. That's because we live in a booming outrage economy, but one where only a few Australians profit. The outrage economy works like this. Someone does something in a public arena that may offend someone. And that's the last time I ever let a celiac make me a pizza. <laughs> The offended group finds out. They then complain about the joke to the masters of outrage. Dear Mr Telegraph Mitchell Herald Jones, celiac disease is very serious. Please stop people from making jokes about us. And with the push of a button, a new market for outrage is created and the masters begin furiously talking it up. This so-called comedian making jokes about celiac disease is absolutely deplorable. Some people can't drink beer. Others have to eat special bread, otherwise they might get a bit puffy. Mum and Dad investors begin to buy into the outrage. I'm a celiac and I thought it was funny. Mate, those jokers should be shot, hung and then killed. Well, I don't see what the big deal is. If celiacs don't believe in God, then that's up to them. Having baited the hook, the masters of outrage artificially inflate the outrage economy by posting the original offence on their website, thereby allowing all Australians the chance to buy in and be offended over and over again about something they may never have heard about in the first place. This is now a bull outrage economy, into which flood bloggers and tweeters, attracted by the offer of a shiny new outrage. The outrage itself becomes the news, and the media begins to comment on the comments, which again sparks more comments, which sells more newspapers and attracts more viewers. By now, a dangerous outrage bubble has formed, and there's simply not enough anger to keep the whole thing going. When the bubble finally bursts, Mum and Dad investors who have put so much into this outrage are left with nothing but a tiny dividend of self-righteousness, left to wonder what all the fuss was about in the first place. The masters of outrage, however, have cashed in. Their brand remains strong and they know that another outrage is just around the corner. All they have to do is wait, angrily rebroadcast it to as many people as they can and then clean up.